Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have extracted location string from database to render that into the Google Map. Here we have the Google Map. You can see here, here we have only one marker. Let me expand it out. Here you can see we have only one marker. And here in the controller, we have this location. So we will use viewback.location here and paste it here. Okay, let's copy this JSON encoded value. Change its name into the location and pass the viewback.location here. Okay, here we don't need a single code because we are using a list and list is coming from the controller which will convert it into an array when it's come to the JS. So this is an array of location which have value on each index separated by the comma. Before the comma there is a latitude and after the comma there is a longitude. So I will copy this and go to the map function. In the map function here I am going to create a loop which will render the information but right after this marker. Okay. Let's create a loop for where x is equal to zero, x is less than to location dot length because it is an array and x plus plus. And here I will copy this marker code along with this location code. Okay. Now here I will create location x dot split having delameter comma this is the latitude but it is type of string I need to convert that into int so I will use parse int which is the method of js to convert any string into the uh, integer part remember that i of int should be capital now copy this and paste here because right after the comma on the first index we have longitude okay now pass this here and you will see when i will refresh the application there are multiple marker will appear here in the geolocation when i will expand it out here we have second uh, <clears throat> location mark now what we need to do all the markers are upon the same location so we need to change this location I will go into the here table and select edit top 200 now change their locations by the difference of one expand it and here we have 32, 3, 4, and I think it's enough. Now these are saved automatically, and when I will refresh it again and go to the geolocation, here I can see multiple marks. So by this, we can identify from which region and longitude latitude our user is belonged. So this is up to it. I hope this is informative. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Have fun.